still fighting in that war of our ally. Our vassals are getting restless. Not that we really care because our vassals are mainly barons. Well, exclusively barons, really. All right, our hands and feet are bleeding. Clearly we have stigmata. And you can't really see this right now, but I can't click anything, left click. Sometimes that happens, if you alt tab out of the game, you might have to <laughs> just tab back in and out. Uh, yeah. Wait, does our court chaplain love us? Nope, he has forfeited his office, definitely. <laughs> and there's no one we could put in there, but we need to find someone. Because a no position filled is also... Someone who definitely will vote against you. So we're looking for someone to come from the outside, someone who's... Already liking us fairly well. We invite him to court. He has a decent amount of skill. Decent amount of liking us. He gets a gift on top of it. And now we go ahead and make him our court chaplain. Which again gives him a little bit more. Liking us. Not enough though. Can't freeze him further. Him further? Nope. Everyone is already fullest increased, so we will need to check here and get our counselors to have all those minor titles giving them a reputation bonus with us. Might even put in a commander or two just so we get the reputation bonus from them but still not changing hearts and minds well enough what do you want nothing we can really help with that's all right. Ah, the war is done, so we can stand now on our troops. So, what do we need? Kingdom of Bosnia. Duchy of whom? Right, let's... Find whom? Not your whom is that thing. So we will need to start producing claims there. And we'll go county by county, not for the whole duchy. Alright, we are pledging ourselves to the crusade, which is nice. Can't choose a beneficiary. So we'll take the titles for ourselves because we're not even all that far away from Egypt. I can't he will no um okay, we send him off to an holy order we lose a bit of piety for doing it fine by us that way we get rid of a plotter ah good so he's now also a court physician giving him another plus 10 opinion of ours but still not enough to get him on board with all the things we want him to do. Oh, for some reason we have Imperial? 
Interesting. Okay, we can't abolish council power just yet. Let's check here. Need to reign for 10 more years. I mean, we are already primogenitor, so for now, we are not going to touch these. So all we need to do is really work on this. Religious title revocation would be supported. Could get this. So let's check our council here. These two are supporting us. Which is hard to tell because they all kind of look the same. So his name is Vukash. Vukash is supporting us. And he is supporting us. So, we need either him or him. They're both pretty equal. In terms of where they are. And I think... We'll try and sway him. Also, let's arrange him a marriage. That is halfway okay. 27 year old. Let's do that. Ah, he's leaving to become a Knights Templar. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, um, nope, we need to look again to the world at large. That is unfortunate. 29 is good. Not good enough anyway. Good, he's joining us. He will be our court chaplain. He will not be our court physician, apparently. But he will be our master of the hunt. And he also will be a commander. And he will also receive a gift. And we will also marry him because he desires so. And he'll get someone. He'll get her. So he kind of does like us, but not enough probably to support us for council power abolishment. What we could do, and we're also going to do, we're going to... Okay, we have a bunch more. So he's not supporting us right now. We will request council support from him, meaning we owe him a favor, which is just fine. So he'll accept or not. There he goes, accepting, perfect. So we pause. We abolish the council power. Lovely. And they have accepted it. And now we just uh, send him to an holy order. Bye bye. And we appoint someone who's actually a little bit more qualified for the job. Hey. So we're currently leading an army of our liege in a war against Hungary, trying to turn them into a tributary state. Not bad, not shabby. And we still can't. Still can't select a beneficiary, it just doesn't exist, it doesn't happen. Alright. So... I am gonna... On as well. Music is just fantastic. Could falsely confess our faith. Don't really want to. Let's go recruit a court physician. That can sometimes be fun. If there's no one in, in the realm qualified to be it, then we can try and find someone outside the realm. And so we shall. I have a feeling that Hungary doesn't really stand much of a chance with their 2,000 troops. 
All right, okay. So our scouts reports of a one-eyed man that has recently arrived in somewhere. The man referred to as Ni Nigola the Wise by the commoners is apparently blessed with immense wisdom. And so he is. Yeah, he's amazing. He's a genius. He's an adventurer. He's celibate. Mastermind theologian. We shall make him a generous offer. And so he has joined our court in the position of our court physician. And we should also probably... Nah. Not going to be more inclined to support us. So while you have these low level type counselors it's very easy to just trade a favor and then kick them out of the realm entirely with higher ranking vassals that of course becomes much more harder to get your ducks in a row early on oh look our son has lost the duchy title again interesting we buy our wife something nice and we have become charitable doing so what do we need castle walls too can get castle walls too wasn't this part of ours as well now it was part of our son's was taken from him. That is unacceptable. But we earned some money. Another daughter, which we will control. Who she marries. Right, we don't need to stop swaying that man. Alright, okay. Prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Is going to go matrilineal. Sure, why not? Do it. And we're swaying this man, and we'll stop swaying this man because he's no longer any concern of ours. Hey, you want an alliance with us? Allied with the Holy Roman Empire. That's not bad. Alright. Get ready for the crusade. Do we have fleet levies? No, we do not. So all our troops need to go overland. It's fine. We'll just connect here. Our son is no longer the Duke here. Darn it. But of course we want to take part in the crusade. As a good Catholic. And gain a bunch of wealth from it. That's the very least you get out of crusade wealth. And sometimes some other goodies, such as, you know, artifacts and stuff. So we'll try and reach the army of Jerusalem to join up with them. We have to go the overland route, so it will take us a while. We won't be the first crusader army that reaches. We will lead personally in the center. And we currently have given all of our commander titles to our uh, counselors, which is not a good idea for war. But since we've abolished council power and everything there looks alright, we really don't need to keep our counselors as commanders so we can take people who actually are free to command Oops, and I think we're going to invite some outsiders to join us for war. I believe there's still no 
Oh, great people. Can we assign a guardian to our boy? Good, then we will be his guardian ourselves. Good. First people are joining us to become commanders for us. Um, minor titles. He's the inspiring leader because I taught him that. That's good. So let's get a bunch of good ones there. And we'll... Like that. Again, I'm not too worried about dying. That would be fine. Ah, Hesse. Lovely. Actually, Hessen in German. First big clashes between the crusading armies and the armies of Islam. Who is leading the Ayyubid? It is Sultan Saladin. Oh. I think Saladin is a little bit like um, Genghis Khan. Because Genghis Khan's real name was Temujin. Genghis Khan is just basically a title. Yes. Um, and I believe Saladin is also more of an honorary title, meaning something like the Sword of Islam or just the Defender of Islam or something. His name was not Saladin. Or was it? Um, well, we'll indulge in some festivities with our soldiers. Or... Yeah, let's ask our highly qualified person for a draught. Alright, very good. So... The Bazelius has agreed to give the council more power instead of going into civil war. This is very good. So what are the council powers now? What can the council do? Okay, the council decides over war declaration. So far. All right, we feel better. The drought has taken its effect and not killed us, which is grand. Well, the lunacy, lunacy is not doing us any favors. We will go and siege this thing. Well, at least we'll try. First, we need to arrive in time because this crusade is going really badly for Islam so far. But they're not yet beaten. What would you like? Support you in the council. Yes, sure. They're going to do something against the best interests of uh, our Bazelius, so I don't worry about it. That's just fine by me. There are no eligible beneficiaries available. And so far, we have earned nothing. Because we have done nothing. Oh, our first battle. Ah, oh, there we go. Earning our keep. Alright, we need to be a little bit careful because there's a huge... Death blob. Which might not just yet be engaged. By the Crusaders. Alright, we gain Crusader, which is a fantastic trait to have. Deus Vult, indeed. 
And either we get to take part in the big battle, which is inevitably coming up here. With these huge armies kind of circling each other. Or we will just siege down. It's being held by one guy who's fighting back 6,000. That's just... That's good work. Real good work. And we are not the leader of the siege, so we are not even allowed to... Call for the assault. <laughs> Why are we not the leader of the siege anymore? Alright, we want to definitely take part over there. That is what we want. Maybe we get in in time, but I don't believe it. No, come on. Yeah, just in the nick of time. Gotten to take part there. Are we now the siege leader? Yes. Goody. Since we have a... Oh, look at that. There's some more battling going on. We will reinforce our allies in glorious battle. But we are not leading troops, it looks like it. Bit of a shame. All right, let's challenge him. And we win the duel. And... Well, either we leave him alive or we kill him. Outcome is kind of the same for us, but it leaves different options. We will leave him alive. Not kill him. Okay, back to sieging. We are leading the siege, which is good. So we can call the assault. We'll keep an eye on where they might crop up with larger numbers. And then just try attack or reinforce. Let's siege it down. Victory is ours indeed. We've taken the city. And there's a huge battle commencing soon. And we will be part of it. How's it looking for us? Okay, we're not getting anything out of it. It's a bit weird. But what can you do? Probably because we don't have a beneficiary. It's a shame. Alright. John of Norway. We are allies in the crusade, so we become fast friends. War is a very unifying experience indeed. We'll just keep battering them down. Just pushing for an end of the crusade. Alright, let's see if we can't find ourselves somewhere here. Probably at the start there. We have 2% contribution. So I really don't understand why exactly we're not getting anything out of this war. There we go. Praise be to God. And we literally got nothing out of it. So let's walk back home. Stand on our troops. That hurt me a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed. I think we deserve better. 